All right, we are here. We're gonna go for a ride. We got Adam over there. Alex may be coming, but he's doing a bit of construction. New plastics. Looking good. They're holding up all right. I spilled some fuel on them here and it kind of peeled it up, but it's doing all right. So today was set enough from Alex's place and we're heading out to a place called South Camp Hughes. It was like a military training ground, but now it's just a rehabilitation forest wildlife refuge. It's a pretty good terrain. It follows some power lines and then has some backcountry stuff where you can do a bit more adventuring and exploring. And we've only touched the tip of it, so let's go. I'm trying out a new chin mount from the GoPro Hero 8. Um, so it's a little higher up instead of being right on the chest mount, which I usually use. I think it's going to give a bit better angle. Still not high enough that it's kind of on top of your head, so it kind of keeps an interesting view. I like the way it's looking so far on some test footage. It's pretty wet out here, let's say that. Um, there's been a lot of rain, so a lot of the trails are just filled. We were attempting to get to a lake, um, which is south here, which is normally pretty accessible, but the quads have done their fair share of digging holes, and they filled up with some pretty deep water here. It's pretty fun though otherwise. These guys are flying. Trickiest part, you can't see where the quads have been once they're in the water, so you can't see where they get stuck. You go in and then all of a sudden it's a two foot drop where they got stuck and really rutted it out. So you just kind of uh, gotta explore a little bit. Taking the sidelines as much as you can without going too deep into the bush because it's just so overgrown. It's a pretty fun challenge. Here we got a little overwhelmed with water. We're just west of the smaller lake. And as you can see, the lake is overflowing so much, it's kind of flooded the whole trail system. We tried and tried, but uh, apart from sinking our bikes, there was no way of getting through this. Oh no. My boots are not completely wet at this point, so I'm choosing to stay dry and let the two adventure in there, see how deep they can get it. Whoops. We got it out, all ran, no problem. And then Alex decided he would give it a shot with a different approach of just going straight through the water. We tested to see how deep it was. It got pretty bad, and the worst part was it's pretty silty, mucky underneath there, so it really just bogs you down. I don't know if anyone else attempts this kind of stuff, but you got to see how far you can take the bike, right? At this point, I was kind of hoping he wouldn't make it much further. He's only halfway through the water. And if he made it all the way, that meant I would have to get fully wet and go from there. Unfortunately, he got stuck. Dropped the bike, flooded a little bit. Here we go. Let's get that water out of there. We abandoned that and decided to do a little bit more exploring on drier terrain. So we headed back up to the power lines so you can take a quick sand track across, back into some woods, and then do a little bit of adventuring on our own before we hit some of the faster stuff. Once we got rolling, these guys were going like sixth gear, wide open. I'm on just a race 250 kawasaki and it only has five gears and that top gear they are just creeping away every single time gopro just doesn't do it justice how fast we were going here if we weren't on the super view maybe you'd see a little bit more of the terrain flying by but 
on those open sections we were literally doing 100 plus k way too fast it was awesome exploring the new trails was also good there's a lot of terrain out here where there's fresh trails cut we're trying to follow some which people have done before but it's just not really well bedded in yet obviously once the quads get to it it's a uh, game over Spring rides are just like fall where if you're out early enough you get the green but none of the thick bushes came in so there's a lot less poison ivy and just it's a lot easier to see the trail and get around in general. These hills are all way steeper than you think and honestly it's nice to have a bit of variety. This is a newer section, the quads haven't got to it but it's well bedded in so it's easy to ride and easy to find. This is where they really start taking off. We're talking about fourth, fifth, and sixth gear in the opens. This section is fresh, bedded in, not too sandy. The quads haven't chewed it all to hell, so you're still getting a lot of black dirt traction. And you're really starting to fly along these sections. It's rolly, it's up, down, left, right, always turning. It's pretty good. And then the open sections are literally wide open, just whoop style wide open geared like it's fast it's fun section here and um uh, we'll definitely be coming back i think so and uh, we'll get this section down so we can really cut some times down this total ride we did about 40 something k um which is pretty good if we hadn't goofed around in that water a bit longer we probably would have done a 50 60k ride out here without having to touch anything and the same thing twice which is pretty impressive all right let's go This section is just full premium black dirt, super grippy, super textured. You can just go full power without even slowing down. Both Alex and Adam are on the 300 two strokes and then I'm on a 250 four stroke. Like off the line, we're about even. We've done some drag race tests on gravel, but that six gear really just gives them a little bit more safety comfort room in these sections here where we're just full out. Instead of letting my bike scream and top out, you know, you pull it back a little bit. Those guys have that sixth gear, so they're able to just sit at a slightly higher pace without making it sound like that bike's going to explode every single time they accelerate. Either way, it's still good stuff. Having fun out here. As you can see we finish on a wide open finish we hit the sand track back it's pretty fast the entire way again just at six gear they can just pull away just a little bit either way it's good times thanks for watching hopefully we'll get more sunday rides out we're gonna explore this area a lot more 
place north of here a lot more and then the local track a lot more but hopefully it'll be a little drier thanks guys